Hello, my Weasels. Welcome back to the Game Cave. My name is Weasel Bandit. We will see if we can't. If you have watched the last video, we just heard a guy running around right over here. It could be the guy living in there. It was definitely the general direction of this place. I have a feeling that people are a little... Um, well... Friendly around here. So that's why I think that I will seek this one out. Alright, can we see someone running around down there? I can't. Can you? Nope. Which means that it was probably this guy in here. I definitely heard something there. Let's see if we can talk to him. Hello? Anyone in there? I don't think he's the chatty type. Can you hear me? Hello. I'm at your front gate. Okay, it, it doesn't seem like he's uh, he's the talkative type. So I'll just I'll just reassure him that we mean him no harm. I just want to let you know that I'm building a base nearby and I'm friendly. So, see ya. All right. So that was that. I think it's always good if you find out that there's someone living around where you live, then it's always a good thing to, well, be at a good uh, be, in, be in good terms with those guys. So. Awesome. Uh, what I want to do now is I want to build a... Can I build a lock right now? A lock. <laughs> I can build a wooden lock. I need some metal fragments in order to build... Yeah. So I'm going to put the metal fragments I've got or oh, the metal ore I have in here, and uh, then fill it with what little tree or wood I have left. And, of course, that can be seen from miles away, but, uh, well, it's not that much. So, if someone decides to come by and take it, well, I can't do much about that at this point, because I refuse to put in uh, a lock with a, a key, because that's... That just doesn't work. Then you have to hide the key outside, and so uh, I'd rather just risk it and see if I can get a hundred fragments and then build or oh, two hundred fragments and then build two code locks instead. So that's just how I want to do to do it. Awesome. So now that we have a little more wood, I will go back to my furnace and uh, put the wood in there. Because I don't think that there was enough wood to actually make 200 metal fragments. I'm not sure, but perhaps. So, let's just go in there and uh, put the wood over there and uh, we can split this in order to make it quicker so the more you have of these the more every one of these will put out one 
metal fragment each time that for each interval of time that it takes for one of these fragments to yeah or one of these ores to become a fragment so that will speed this up a lot so we'll just wait a few minutes until we have 200 metal fragments and then we'll put some some uh, some locks on these doors of course it's wooden they are wooden doors so they are not really all that well protective but well it's still something and we can upgrade that to stone and not that because we don't have enough stone yet stone requires 300 stones so we will need a lot more than those awesome I think we can perhaps make one right now e no almost one make one now awesome yes oh of course we need wood 400 wood and um, we're just gonna split that and that is awesome one code lock coming up and of course we will need to go collect even more wood so, we'll do that in the meantime. This is an awesome place that, that uh, I found here, I think. Because you are very close to one of the dungeons. <clears throat> And uh, that means that you will have an easy time, or I will have an easy time, finding stuff. Awesome. So we are full up again. There aren't that many trees around here, but I'm, I think... I I hope it's enough for us. Hmm. This hasn't quite been finished. Or it looks like it. Oh well, you can still see what it, what it is, so I guess that's fine. I'm gonna spend a few minutes harvesting all the wood on the top of this hill. That was one, and that gave us around seven to eight hundred wood from that one tree, so I guess that's that's pretty good. Oh, there are a lot more trees down there. That's actually awesome, because then we will at some point be able to get a lot more wood, which is awesome. But frankly, right now, what we need isn't so much wood. We need wood, of course. Oh, I can use the time to build a t tool cupboard. That'll take, take two minutes, so might as well do that on the run. Uh, right now, we are not, because we've collected some wood from these trees, we're not in that much of a dire need for wood at the moment. It's more stone, so we can upgrade the uh, the walls. So I'm looking for stones. There's something down there. I saw a small ore rock. And perhaps someone has uh, 
forgotten to empty this this here thingy. Not this, but uh, this this here thingy is uh, something you can use to harvest ore and rock and stone and all of that from the earth. So sometimes you'll find one of those abandoned and uh, that the builder has forgotten to to empty it out. So sometimes you're lucky. This time we were we weren't. I like to go around what I whatever I harvest in circles just to have a to have an idea of what it is that is going around uh, going on in the surrounding in, in my surroundings because that gives you a chance to see if someone is trying to sneak up on you or if a bear should happen to wander in behind you so course if a bear gets close to you you won't have oh I've uh, I am at my limit I won't need that so I'll just keep harvesting of course if a bear gets close to you you probably won't have a chance because they run fast and they hit hard extremely hard Yeah, I'll need some more stone, so I'll just keep harvesting until I return home. Paper and this, I don't need that, so let's harvest on! It looks like this is mostly stones, which is great, because that's what we really need here. Awesome. So with that, I think I will return home and see if I can't secure it a little bit good. I'm actually, actually right now, what I'm most interested in is just getting home and uh, and securing my my base instead of collecting some of the good things in in the barrels around here. <laughs> it looks all different up here at the top of the hill because there are no trees up here. Oh, oh, I'll just take that real quick. Oh, wasn't really anything interesting. <laughs> And right in front of us, we have our home. Very nicely put not far away from all of this. So that's great. It's still going, which means that someone probably hasn't been there to take our stuff. So that's awesome. I would actually like it if we had some people around us that we could interact with and even even talk to and help. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Perhaps at some point. Awesome. And oh, nope. We will lock the door. Uh, let's say five, six, four, five. Five, six, four, five. I think I should be able to rem remember that. If not, it would, wouldn't really be very good. Awesome. So we'll just collect all of that. And also the wood, because we'll... Let's just save some of it. And we'll be build another code lock. Awesome. And while we wait, we will upgrade. Thank you. Thank you. And we can't upgrade the door. 
for now. Right. So we've got like 2,000 pieces of wood left. We'll place the tool cupboard. Hmm, where do we want to put it? We want to put it right here. And authorize. Awesome. Now we are the only one who can build around here. And with the code lock put on there, and the lock change to 4645, we are now relatively secured in here. That's just awesome. That's uh, that's great. Let's see how much more we can do here. I want to go up like uh, this perhaps, or perhaps this, yes. This could be even better, or perhaps this. Then you could run through here if you wanted to. Or perhaps you could... Nope. Oh, there. Yeah, that's a good place. And then I want to build a first floor, or whatever it's called. Second floor. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm. Okay, something didn't quite pan out there. Hmm. We'll have to go up there again. Uh oh. Nope. <laughs> Twice. We built something that shouldn't have been there. Oh, this isn't good for my. This isn't good. Oh. Could I use this? I could, yes, awesome. And then, awesome, great. So, I think this, and this, and then we have a... Yep, awesome. When you haven't built the thing, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to figure out how exactly it's done. But, uh, I think this looks pretty good. Awesome. And then we just need that, and nope, that can't be done. What about this? Yes, and then we should be able to do this awesome. And that, and that, and this means that we now have the complete upper story. So what I want to do now is... Uh, I want to have some walls here to hide the smoke. Great. And then I will have a... I want to have a tower up here. Where you can go up and look out. So, I think this is good for now. We need to have some kind of defense right here. Some kind of door or... Oh yeah, of course, we can just remove this staircase and then build a... Mm -hmm. A ladder hatch. Awesome. We need some more... Th 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 th. Oh, yeah, yeah. Craft. Awesome. Then we'll put the ladder hatch right there. And then we'll put a code lock on that too. And what is happening outside? Do my ears deceive me? I hear a plane. If it drops something, we are pretty close. I can't see if it if it had, has dropped something yet, but if it drops something now, we are very close and we should go for it. But I think that it has already dropped what it wanted to drop, and it's flying out over the sea at the moment. I think so. Yep, that looks like the sea out there, which means that... No loot for us. No airdrop. Hey! Whoa! There are footprints now. That means you can actually you can actually track someone. Nice. Well, as I said in said in the earlier video, this game has improved a lot. 
a lot, a lot, a lot. It has improved very much. And that's just awesome. Right, this actually looks kind of awesome, if I have to say so myself. And um, it's right there. We have just built the hatch there, so we'll... Why can't we put that up there? Do we need some kind of pillar? Nope, that can't be... Ah, oh, of course, we need to have a... We need to have a... Floor frame, of course we do. Oh, no, nice. That's just awesome. Awesome! Now we have a way up here. And this just looks great. I think that I would like to, to build some low walls, a fence around, just for fun. Make it a little bit cozy, if you will. Great! This looks great. I am very pleased with this. I actually think that I will just let it be like this for now. I'm just gonna go down here and uh, I'm gonna go in here and see how far up the... There we go. How far up the pillar of smoke goes to see if I will need to have to build the walls higher. I do. I I will need at least two stories more. But that's okay. We can do that. We can definitely do that. Or will I have to have two floors more? Hey, there's someone over there. There's two people over there. Hello? I'm friendly. Don't know if they have... Thanks, man. See, people can be friendly around here. That's just awesome. Nice. I like this server. It's, uh, it looks to be great. So They probably know that I live here, so if they choose to raid, I won't be able to stop them with wooden doors. But it doesn't matter. We, uh, we are building this Let's Play on Trust. And I don't even have enough... Or do I? Yeah, I can just create one small wooden box to put my stuff in. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna keep that in case that I run out of... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> in case I've run out of anything at all, because a stone isn't really much use once you get to this place. Right, I think that when I... Hmm, how will I do this? How will I get up into this? Oh yeah, of course, we have ladders now. Like... Uh, like these like these wooden ladders. So then we can just build a tiny wall someplace here and then just build a ladder all the way up to the top. That's awesome. So, with a wooden box down here... Yes. And we'll put some stuff over here that we won't need for a time. Uh, yes, and uh, this. Let's just reveal some of these blueprints. <laughs> yes, we can definitely build a medical syringe now. We won't need that, so let's just drop that. We can build a large furnace now. We won't actually need that because we have one right behind us. But if we didn't have one, it would be nice to be able to build it. Yes, the food stuff, that'll make us able to grow some some of the weapons. I like to hold on to the arrows. And uh, yeah, the survey charge also. And food, of course. No, I'm gonna eat that. Eat. <laughs> right. Great, and then on to the furnace and store this, 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 and this. But not 
the stones because that won't help us with anything in here. Great. So with this having been done, I think that I will uh, say goodbye for this time. We are at our limit. And uh, we have come pretty far, I'd say. So thanks for being at the Game Cave, guys. My name is Weasel Bandit. I will see you in the, in the next episode. Bye. <laughs>